Today, ladies and gentlemen, will be a monumental day. Can I get a drum roll, please? Today, we are training our little tiny prince dragon to become and evolve into a giant three-headed king dragon. Before we do that, we need to do a challenge. In the last episode of this, I did a staring contest, which you guys absolutely roasted me in. So today, we're doing a holding my breath contest for as long as I can. I've done one other of these before. You guys thought I was cheating. So now I have this thing to actually not cheat whatsoever. It makes me sound like Squidward. Prepare your lungs, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna be doing this. If I win, you have to leave a like. If you win, I will heart your comment. Let's know it in three, two, one. <sighs> oh, I can tell this is gonna hurt. Now, if you guys didn't know, I'm not the best at holding my breath. And I'm gonna keep talking so you guys know I am not breathing in through my mouth. Because in order to breathe in through your mouth, you cannot be talking. Also, this hurts my nose a lot. I talked way too much to begin this video. Oh god, you actually have to use breath to talk and I'm gonna breathe, I'm gonna breathe, I'm gonna breathe! <gasps> okay, that was terrible. Get this thing out of here. Well, if you love me, please just like the video. I'll heart your comment if you beat me. Stop looking at me like that, Cookie Monster. I know, I probably lost. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. All right, Cookie Monster, all right, beautiful Bessie, and Rodney, wherever he's hiding. Today, we are taking this little cute three-headed four-winged dragon, and we're going to turn it into the giant king, which we actually had to kill in episode one. Bessie said that you guys gave her some new information, so let's check out this chest. And here, we have a book called The Cookie Prince. The cookie-loving people of the internet told me that the prince dragon can evolve using diamond blocks. Have Cookie Monster defeat some challenges in order to prepare him for an upgrade. Love, Bessie. Wait a second, we got cookies! Bessie cooked up cookies, let's go! Cookie Monster cookies for me, cookies for you! There we go, all right, here we go. So many cookies, thank you, Bessie, I love you. All right, Cookie Monster, let's see, how many do you want to eat? All right, Cookie Monster, you're, you're, stop, stop eating all, S seriously, I understand you're a growing little young child, he ate all my cookies! I'm starting to not like you. Now, it looks like Bessie did give us 18 blocks of diamonds, but whenever I go ahead and right click, it doesn't seem to work. Now we also have some ice blocks and fire charges in here, which apparently you guys told Bessie, if I right click on the cookie monster, the fireballs will be extinguished. Now if I right click with the fireball, fireballs will activate again. Now over in this chest, we have a ton of challenges it seems like, and every single challenge has a diamond block after the cookie monster defeats it. Come here, cookie monster. Look, cookies, yes, very yummy cookies. Yes, dude, he's eating the cookies. Now let's make sure his fireballs are indeed activated for this challenge. Stop flying away. Stop, stop. I need to right click you with this flint and steel. Why are you killing birds? The birds are nice. Okay, fireballs are lit and prepared. This guy is ready to destroy anything and eat cookies. He reminds me a lot of myself. Our first challenge is a simple, fully loaded zombie pigman. Hey, what's up, dude? Okay, wow, he seems very focused on that stone block. What the? <laughs> stop. No, don't like it. Okay, attack. Boom, kill, attack, annihilate, destroy. I still haven't figured out how the Cookie Monster Little Dragon operates. Maybe I need to give him another mob that's bigger and juicier, such as this giant turd monster. Oh, he's skeleton, yes, let's go! Oh no, no, we got shot. Oh gosh, okay, stop it, stop it, you little noggin face dude. Wow, that was a lot of fireball action. I get it, you have cool sunglasses, but you're no match for my little cookie monster beast. Oh god, okay, the cookie monster left me. Wait, no, he's right here. He gets me every time, dude, he just hides inside blocks. We took down the one, oh my gosh, he's shooting fireballs left and right. Oh, he bit that thing's toes off. Peacock cats where I know you're not allowed to eat my cookies. Scram. They always think they could eat my cookies. Careful, it's just a little butterfly. I, I guess it likes to eat butterflies too. This guy's a little bit strange. We also have a psycho. Stay, stay with a, a chainsaw. Oh, he doesn't even care. He's moving straight in. He's getting chainsawed. It only looks like it's doing one damage. Let's go. There you go. Psycho Steve, you're not as much of a psycho as my cookie monster little three-headed dragon. I don't think he realizes it. Oh my gosh, dude. Let's see. I can't tell how much health it has. It has zero health. That was insane. And I unlocked a chainsaw. 
Camellia, stick a cookie, still a peacock, I swear he. We only have three more bosses until we can upgrade Cookie Monster into a Savage Cookie Monster. This guy looked pretty buff, but honestly wasn't strong at all. How about that, though? What's up? What it do? How it be? My name Jack. I like cookies. Oh, wow. All right. Well, you do not like cookies. Oh, we have assassins. Well, the assassins got immediately annihilated by my security detail named Cookie Monster. Oh, maybe not. This guy teleported away, but he's still getting wrecked. Big juicy cookies for your little cookie monster. Hey, stop flying away. Look, cookie. There you go. Our last challenge, ladies and gentlemen, is Dictator Dave. Hey, Dave, how's it going? That's my dragon named Cookie Monster. If you shoot him, you're going to make him super duper angry. Dave, I don't know if you have earballs or what. I'm also not entirely sure what an earball is. I guess that's how you hear. It seems like he doesn't have ears or eyeballs because this guy cannot see that this dragon is absolutely eating his face. This isn't even a battle. Cookie Monster barely takes any damage. Oh my gosh, he got fireballed. Cookie Monster got a little bit excited. This does officially mean though that we unlocked the first diamond block of the day. Now I've never done this before, so I'm very curious what Cookie Monster is going to turn into. Be sure to comment down below if you do know. Let's see, in three, two, one, Cookie Monster has turned into a cookie beast. Yo, he's massive, that is crazy. Because he's so big now, I actually think I may be able to ride on its back, which would be sick. <laughs> Dudes, he is destroying everything. I love it. Hey, cookies, cookies, yes, he really loves cookies. I love it. Let's see if I can hop on its back, I can. No way, I can control the fireballs. Annihilate everything, kill the butterfly. Actually, don't kill butterflies. Butterflies are gentle. I'm gonna need you to take a chill pill for just a second. If I hit him with an ice block, his fireballs will be extinguished so I don't have to worry about him uh, blowing up my house. In order to unlock the next diamond block upgrade, we have six more challenges. Be sure to leave a like if you think Cookie Beast can defeat every single one of them. I'm gonna give you guys a hint. There is a 1,000% chance that he can. Let's see though, the first one always scares the poop out of me. It's a criminal. He escaped from jail. Annihilate, destroy this thing. Oh my gosh, he's getting flung around. Yes, oh dude, I feel so bad for this little fatty. I'm really sorry, I know you really wanna steal all of my cookies, don't you? Not today. I think he killed him with his toenail. Cookies, we got cookies for you. He's getting very, very, very confused here. Look, come on, cookie. He's going insane. He's way too big for his own good. I just realized now that he's massive, I'm gonna need to feed him like 10 times as many cookies now. Oh, hey, you want cookies? I, I actually, I ran out of cookies. It it's super weird, I know. All right, guys, don't tell him that I actually have a big stack of cookies in my house. Let's see how it does against a giant brutal fly. Okay, dude, we have two flying mobs going at it. Hey, hey, he's killing me. Whoa, dude, he does 34 attack damage every single hit. That is crazy. There's also a small squadron of giant, uh, never mind, one single kick with a toenail. And this dude absolutely poops on them. Let's try out a Robo Warrior, somebody who's a little bit tankier. Oh, I got this gun, sweet. I don't want to accidentally hit Cookie Beast. I don't think it would matter too much, to be honest. The Robo Warrior can only do three damage every time our Cookie Beast gets close to it. I also don't know entirely how much health Cookie Beast has, but I'm gonna guess it's probably around a thousand. I'm starting to get super nervous for this next upgrade because once our Cookie Beast takes out everything, there will be one more diamond block evolution. Now, he's already pretty big, and if he gets any bigger, I think he may be the size of my house. He also took zero damage from that fight, and he really wants cookies. Okay, I am officially out of cookies. No more cookies, Cookie Beast. Let's try out a Caterkiller plus a Mantis. If it can take down two at one single time, that would be legendary. It's going crazy. I think the Mantis is about to die. It's one toenail hit away. The Caterkiller is also getting flung around, and I'm pretty sure this thing weighs at least 5,000 pounds. Dude, it's getting yeeted left and right. Let's back it up, back it up from the house. I also just realized, I don't think I re-enabled our Cookie Beast fireballs. Would you stop going next to Bessie and my house? My house is sacred. All right, everything's getting destroyed. It's getting out of hand and he's not even the max level. I'm so nervous to upgrade him again and also reactivate his fireballs. If he does get close, I'm gonna have to do it. Bessie, watch out, there's a giant caterpillar. Let's get a little health check on our Cookie Beast. This is crazy. I don't know how he's hitting him around so 
hard. Look at it. Just one single kick or one whack of the tail and he goes flying. Only a few more hits. We're getting down to it. Literally just one more toenail kick to the spleen and boom, just like that. Wait, it turns into the brutal fly. I forgot. But that was the fastest flight ever. The cookie base destroyed it. And that was without fireballs enabled. Now fireballs are lit. He is ready to demolish any beast that comes across. There's only one more fight left. The Nastiosaurus, wait, I wanna get on your back, please. Let me, I wanna ride you. I wanna ride on your back like a pony, please. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but I need to do it so I don't die. Okay, I kind of regret turning on fireballs. I really regret turning on fireballs, ladies and gentlemen. This was a terrible idea. My entire house is gonna get on fire, I know it. Now it also looks like the Cookie Beast has a special attack where it spawns in ice and traps mobs in place while it spits fireballs out of its other heads you're starting to scare me a little bit it's okay i have some steak i'm out i'm out of cookies <laughs> i i hope that's okay please don't eat me this does mean that we're on the final tier upgrade we're just gonna take cookie beast over here where he can't hurt me myself or my house it's officially time now cookie beast stop with the fireballs we've talked about this once he gets close i'm gonna right click and he will turn into the young adult cookie prince i think we're gonna have to name this guy cookie savage maybe even cookie zilla i'm not 100 percent sure if there is another upgrade after this if there is and you guys do want to see a part three let me know by dropping a like once it hits 10,000, i'll be sure to try it out again before the rest of this episode let's see how it does against some of these strongest bosses cookie savage is absolutely savagely and he's just going around killing bombs left and right the robo pounder normally does so much damage but i don't think he had a chance to even do anything against the Cookie Savage, who keeps getting really close to me, looking for cookies. Let's try out Mothra. Oh my gosh, 68 damage. What? 68 damage. If this guy turns against me, I am D-E-A-D. -E that spells dead. I think so. Let's try out a Mantis. We also might as well spawn in the Emperor Scorpion along with it. The fireballs are lit. The Mantis just got tail whipped. Oh, this dude is going crazy. Oh, he's doing a toenail flip. I really need to buy some dragon toenail clippers. Emperor Scorpion is normally a pretty powerful, formidable foe, but I honestly don't see it doing any damage to my giant cookie savage dragon. I also completely forgot to test if I'm able to get on its back. I am. Yo, this is insane. Let's go. Oh, oh my gosh. This is unreal. <laughs> I can destroy anything now. I have too much power, ladies and gentlemen. Luckily, I have Bessie in place because if I do go power hungry, uh, yeah, she'll uh, immediately smite me down and just destroy me. Whoa, whoa. This guy's a little bit difficult to control, but it seems like when I get near mobs, he absolutely goes berserk. The Emperor Scorpion is right at the tip of these three giant dragon cookie hungry heads. I may have told our cookie savage that the Emperor Scorpion poops out cookies, so it really wants to kill it. There we go. Couple more hits to do the trick. How is it still alive? I mean, the Emperor Scorpion is extremely powerful, probably one of the most powerful or spawn bosses, but still, I am riding on one of, if not the most powerful pet in the mod. I'm gonna go hop off and see just how much health this thing has. Hello, Emperor. Oh, wow. Yeah, you got absolutely toasted. And just like that, the Emperor Scorpion got yeeted. There's only a few more challenges. We have a T-Rex, a Hercules Beetle, and the most powerful robot, Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey, nice to see you again. How's the life? Not too good. Okay, you didn't have to punch me in the face. These three mobs together are easily some of the strongest mobs. If I wanted to fight them myself, I would need crazy overpowered armor, but the Cookie Savage has turned into one of the most powerful pets I think I own. Look at him go. Jeffrey's already down to almost half health. The Mantis over here is getting destroyed. I don't even know know if the cookie savage beast has taken any damage whatsoever that is it i think the hercules beetle is one hit away from dying that is it hercules beetle down jeffrey is literally only on a third of his health this guy is nuts i'm loving every second of this ladies and gentlemen this is beautiful to watch i remember first getting my hands on the prince it was so tiny it was like this big but now after just a few hours of training several diamond blocks and 1,000 cookies later, we have this giant dragon. If you guys do have any other things you want to see with the Cookie Savage Amazing Beast of Awesomeness, let me know in the comment section down below and drop a like. I think that is going to wrap it up now. I need to figure out a place to keep the Cookie Savage Dragon, 
because it's massive, and I, I don't think it'll stay still. Plus, it can travel through blocks, which is a little bit concerning. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below. That's gonna be it, though. My name is Beck Bro. I need to go buy more cookies because this thing ate them all, Jack. And I will see you guys all back again here tomorrow for a brand new video. Peace out, dudes.